here's a Sherman update. Um, he's doing great. Nice guy. Uh, clean in the kennel, very clean. I have to take him out multiple times a day and make sure that he goes potty. If he doesn't get to go potty outside, he barks. And so that's how I know that he needs to go outside. Um, eating great, no problem there. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of leash work here and then uh, I'm gonna uh, put him on place and see how that is with him. Uh, here, good boy. And uh, we'll see how he does. Heel. Good. Oh boy. So I'm going to introduce him to place just like I do all of my dogs with a little bit of um, food and just uh, naming this spot. Place. Good. Place. Good. And then I'll start adding some distraction. Place. Good. Place. Good boy. Place. Good. Place. Good. Okay. Good boy. All right, here. Place. Place. Good. Sit. Good. Place. Place. Good. I know, this is the best part. Place. Good boy. Whoops. My fault. Good. Place. Excellent. Good. So I'm going to start stepping away from him. Nope. Nope. Place. And uh, showing him that I want him to stay on that dog bed. Nope. Place. Good. Place. Good. Good. There you go. Nope. Place. Good. Place. for him to demonstrate to me that he understands that edge. There you go. Good boy. Place. So right now, a ton of reward for doing the right thing. Just leash correction for making a mistake. I'm still fine with that. <clears throat> Good. What I'm looking for is that he understands that he stays in that space. Good. Very good. Place. Good. Good. So he does not understand this to the degree that I
I would like him to at this point. Place. Place. Good. Nope. Place. Sit. Good. Place. starting with 10 continuous minutes here and then the next time we do place he's going to do 20 minutes and then the next time after that we'll be up to 30 minutes and we'll do 30 minutes a day until he goes home. <coughs> collar have not introduced it to him yet um, if he makes many more mistakes here on place I will introduce it on this exercise it tends to make it clearer to the dog if they don't seem to be getting the picture but I'll give him just a little bit longer to tell me he does get it all right that's not bad he's about halfway off but his intention is to stay there right now so I'll take that Starting by that looking around, nope, place, that looking around is usually a precursor, sit, the moving, place. Alright, so I'm going to use my remote collar on the next time that he moves. I'll set him on a 5, this collar goes from 1 to 100, so a 5 is super low. And uh, if he comes off right there, I'm going to hold down that button, nope, place. Put him back on, and part of what I'm doing here is finding what level he notices. No, nope, sorry, bud, no treats for that. Um, place. Place. Good. And usually we'll get, nope, place. Uh, here's what I need to do is I need to make sure I even turn down that transmitter or that receiver. I do that with the <laughs> vibration and I have nothing to turn on. He's been a very pleasant guy. Good. Good. Place. All right. We'll go back to that. Still on a five. Turned a little bit when it went in my pocket. Place. See what level helps him figure this out.
this is a five. And I'm holding it down. I know it's turned on. Place. Good. Place. Place. Good. Place. Good. Good. And it is really warm out today. I'm sure he's unhappy about being out here. from him is a recognition that he should stay there. I don't want him jumping around or barking or yelping or anything else like that. There should be almost no indication that he feels it. Nope. This is a 10. Place. Good. Sit. Good. Place. And I know it's warm, but it is not intolerable. Eventually he's going to get on place, he's going to down automatically. Um, we're going to be doing 30 minutes and all kinds of distractions going on around him so that he gets really, nope, so I'm holding down that 10. barely noticeable. I can't notice. I don't feel it at a 10. Um, and then every dog is a little bit different in how they perceive that. What I want to be doing, what I want to be doing is giving him some tactile information that tells him that if he stays on the bed, he needs his turn off. It should be just a little bit annoying for him. close to that 10 minutes. Oh yeah, we're at 10 minutes. So I'm going to release him, put him back up, let him get some water. We'll come back out later, um, do a little bit more of this and just keep reinforcing it. But I'm real happy with him at this point. He's a real nice guy. 